Please give a warm welcome to actor and comedian, Joel McHale! We are here, everyone. Here we are. I'm going to read some jokes to you. Welcome! to the 50th Annual Roofing Supply Salespersons of the Year Awards, everyone. I'm kidding, that event is happening next door in the big conference room, everybody. This is the 50th Anniversary Saturn Awards. Let her rip. Most of you were not alive. I'm your host, Joel McHale. Yeah, I've already done, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Phil already did it, I'm famous for such hotel conference room appearances as the 2013 Costume Designer Guild Awards, the 2017 Fragrance Awards, these are real, and the 2022 Kreischberg Bar Mitzvah, where I worked the chocolate fountain. I'm doing just fine, thank you so much. We are here at the Burbank Airport Marriott. Can you believe it? You have arrived. You have arrived. A thrilling location at the crossroads of creativity, innovation, and a Del Taco. <laughs> right across the street, I've been. And if you hear any engine noises overhead, just pretend it's the Millennium Falcon blasting off on another exciting adventure, and not the Spirit Airlines Flight 1652 arriving 40 minutes late from Vegas, everybody. <laughs> This is one of the most storied and glamorous nights in all of genre pop culture. It is. You're here. You're here. Yes. And almost half the audience is lit. That's great. And sorry, live streamers. Uh, it's a, probably a good time to point out, uh, for real, that we are not validating the parking, all right? <laughs> sorry, Kevin Feige, all right? so. Uh, Many people weren't sure the Saturn Awards would even happen this year. We all remember the chaos last year when Boba Fett stormed on stage and slapped the Wolfman because he told that G.I. Jane joke about Boba Fett's wife, <laughs> Jada Pinka Fett Smith. That... <laughs> Good night, everybody. I did it. I did it. I did it. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you for the clapping. Thank you. That's how I like my jokes. Clap. So, um, I couldn't help but notice the table for the Batgirl movie is completely empty. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. Yeah, I, I know, it's tough to admit, but not everything can get released, which if you've seen some of my work, it's pretty surprising. Uh, no joke. Throughout the evening, we will be honoring bona fide legends, celebrating exciting new talent, and thanks to a partnership with Warner Brothers and Lojack, closely monitoring the whereabouts of Ezra Miller. Yes, we will conduct safety drills in the event that Ezra is spotted within 200 yards of the hotel. Ezra Miller's Flash movie will be released next summer, and if the judge is lenient, so will Ezra. That is great, yeah, that's great. The Warner Brothers people are very nervous. You just know that Grant Gustin, who, played, who plays the Flash on TV, is somewhere saying, man, who do I have to assault, rob, and hold against their will to get my own Flash movie? In case you're wondering why I'm hosting this event, I'm actually overqualified to be here, which is something I usually say when I have to audition over Zoom. Uh, it's close to home, it's true. Uh, you probably know me as my famous character, that snarky dickhead from 85% of my acting career. You're laughing. Uh, but I've also made appearances in several well-known science fiction, horror, and fantasy projects. You can currently see me on the CW series Stargirl. Thank you. Where it only took me five episodes to realize that they didn't hire me to play the title character. So sorry. Uh, I love working on that show alongside so many amazing and creative individuals whose names escape me right now, but they are great. I love them. I'm kidding, John Jeffs. I love you, John Jeffs. You're so great. Uh, he's right there. Thanks, Breck. Uh, being a part of a superhero project means you get to explore fascinating and strange new worlds like suburban Atlanta, yep, uh, where they film everything now. Fox Brothers Barbecue is terrific. Um, I also appeared in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 2. Oh, yeah, thank you. I played the fan-favorite villain, the bank manager, 
yep, uh, who was the only Spider-Man character not to appear in No Way Home. Yep, which is, it's fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, it's fine. Um, I've also starred in horror movies. I got stabbed by a possessed guy in the movie Deliver Us From Evil. Yeah, there it is, yep. Uh, and I also got stabbed by a possessed guy in the Studio City's farmer's market. So, uh, <laughs> it was simple misunderstanding. I was reaching for some asparagus and he was a crazy person. Uh, both directed by Scott Derrickson. Thank you, Scott. He can do anything. Scott is here tonight, right, Scott? Yep, he's not here yet. Uh, but enough about me. Let's talk about what me is hosting. This is the 50th year, as I said, of the Saturn Awards. That's right. That's right. That's right. The Saturn Awards have outlasted the Saturn Motor Company. No joke. Uh, for five decades, the Saturn Awards has enshrined the finest achievements in sci-fi, fantasy, and horror, honoring everyone from Dracula to Blackula to Scott Bakula. Amazing. <laughs> The Saturn Awards were founded on the humble belief that people would gather to celebrate their favorite films and TV series as long as there was a chance they could take home a life-size replica of Baby Yoda. <laughs> that is happening tonight. No joke. I'm kidding. It's the child. We all know that. Uh, this isn't the Oscars or the Emmys. This is the Saturn Awards, where we honor the films and TV shows that people actually watch. <laughs> right? That actually make Money, yes. So suck it, Nomadland. We got them. We got Nomadland. Uh, we have got an amazing evening. We've also got, uh, last I counted, about 243 award categories. And I am not kidding. Uh, every single person in this room is going home with a Saturn Award, whether they like it or not. That is happening. Tonight's ceremony will be raucous and at times confusing and well over three hours long. So think of it as Hollywood award show, the Zack Snyder cut. All right, here we go, let's get started. Our first presenter is a genuine legend, an Academy Award nominee, the winner of a Golden Globe, and an icon of the horror genre. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna need an old priest and a young priest. Please welcome the great Linda Blair. How's everybody doing? Let's not answer all at once. Stargirl won, everybody. That's the show I'm on. Okay. Quick update uh, from our Ezra Miller crime watch. Uh, crime, I'm already drunk. Authorities are saying that Ezra rolled through a stop sign in New Hampshire. So our current threat level has been changed to teal, uh, but we will keep you updated throughout the night. For now, we are all safe. Uh, to present our next award, two very talented actors. She has appeared in House of Sand and Fog, 24 and The Expanse, and he's been in True Blood, Westworld, and The Peripheral. But tonight, they reach a true career pinnacle, getting introduced by Joel McHale. Ugh, <laughs> disappointment. Uh, so uh, please welcome Shore Agdashlu and Lewis Herthman, everybody. <laughs> How about Jeff, everybody? Yeah. He looks like an unshaven Dick Tracy villain. Congrats, buddy. Um, throughout the show, we'll have video appearances from some of the biggest names in science fiction, fantasy, and horror. It's our way of celebrating the Saturn Awards 50th year, and it also pads out the show to a full six and a half hours. <laughs> You're welcome. These videos are long. Our first video is from a two-time Saturn Award winner and a true legend of genre pop culture. He's crafted an indelible career in TV and film, and it all started with him playing one of the most famous characters in science fiction, T.J. Hooker. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome William Shatner. Uh, this has been an amazing show so far. We are only one-eighth of the way through, and I know you're excited. 
I had an awkward moment backstage. Um, I mistook Swamp Thing for Man Thing, and I felt like a jerk, but he was cool about it, says it happens all the time. Come on, comic book people, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Speaking to me. Um, here we go. Our next presenter has had such an impressive career that I passed out just trying to get through to the end of his IMDb page. He's played a police officer in Detroit, a miner fighting an undersea creature, a mercenary exploring the African Congo, and also on occasion he's busted a few ghosts. Uh, he has the tools, he has the talent. Please welcome the legendary Ernie Hudson. I, I don't know. Uh, this is a commercial, so I can say fuck for the first time, so it's great. <laughs> Sorry, kids. Unless they're showing this during the commercial. Uh, they told me to vamp because they, you, they saw you're getting restless and getting up to leave. And how was the dessert? <laughs> is anybody drunk? I heard Julie Pleck is super drunk, so. Oh yeah, she's my neighbor. <laughs> she, she is my literally my next door neighbor, and. Uh, She's a meth addict, and it is, it's terrible. Like, there's just animals running all over her property. It's terrible. She's not nice, and uh, Jeff Johns can back that up. No, uh, she literally, uh, congrats, Jeff Johns, on accepting Breck's award. Uh, that was great. Uh, how, I don't know what's, I didn't know there was commercials in this show. It's a, who's advertising? Get your tights here in Chatsworth. Uh, are we close? This is great. This shows you that without reading shit, I have nothing. So it's great. <laughs> Table number five, how's it going? Yeah, all right, great. Well, that's the end of that. So uh, do you guys all stay through the whole thing? It's very impressive, and I'm not kidding. As you know, nobody stays at anything, and this the producers, if you've met them, are, st speaking of meth addicts, uh, they <laughs> are the fastest talking people I've ever met. Uh, all right, well, I'll tell a um, William Shatner uh, story now. I didn't put this in the script because uh, William Shatner used to troll Norm Macdonald and I on Twitter, and I am not kidding. When I first was on The Soup, he would tweet at me and Norm Macdonald and say, you guys aren't funny, stop doing it, nobody likes it. And then I would retweet it and be like, big fan. And, uh, and he got into a penis rocket and got, literally, that penis rocket and got super depressed. Anyway, uh, great story, Joel. And uh, what are we fucking selling? Is it a, we're still going? Well, Joel, oh, I'm done. You could, oh, our thanks. next award. I don't know what's happening. Are, am I on? Oh, great. Hey, everyone. Uh, quick announcement. Uh, we've got a minor technical glitch, as you can see, with the live stream. So we will need to start the entire show from the top. Uh, so I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know uh, Chris McKenna has to do 12 rewrites uh, by the morning. So uh, please clear your schedules for the rest of the week. Thank you so much. Here to present our next award, two very talented performers. You've seen her in the wildly popular series, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and he stars in the funniest show on television. I, I, it is my favorite show, What We Do in the Shadows. Please conceal your professional jealousy and give a warm welcome to Vivian Lyra Blair and Harvey Gee and everybody. Okay, uh, brace yourselves, everyone. I'm about to be genuine and sincere, no joke. Uh, the entertainment community bid farewell to the legendary Robert Forster three years ago. He was a master at creating believable, lived-in performances through countless roles, including medium cool Jackie Brown and something called Breaking Bad. So uh, representing him tonight are members of his family Please give a warm welcome to his daughter Elizabeth, his son Robert, and his granddaughter Tess. And he, yeah, come on up, guys. And here to present the Saturn Awards Robert Forster Artist Award is the very talented actor. Please welcome Beth Reesgraf, everybody.
jacket like that when I was 14. That's great. That was Prada. That was Prada. That was a $2,000 coat. $2,000 windbreaker. Damn. To present the award for best film writing, we have called in two screenwriting legends. Their words have brought to life such fascinating, complex, real-world real world characters as Ed Wood, Larry Flint, and Agent Cody Banks. Please welcome Scott Alexander and Larry Kashevsky. Larry Kashevsky. Sorry, Larry. Come on up. when I get to say fuck again, so uh, it's two minutes, guys, where uh, I, I don't know who's making money, but um, the Saturn Awards is doing an infomercial for, uh, I don't know, I guess, I guess they're another storming of the Capitol, but um, I don't know. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to talk up here for, uh, I don't know, so Guillermo de Toro, it's the first time he's ever won anything, so uh, it's great. <laughs> How about that Better Call Saul, everybody? It's, yeah, it's one of my favorite science fiction shows. It's so great that you guys finally did it. The fantasy horror Better Call Saul. That's just, way to go, Patrick. Way to go. Let's lay off the tanning bed for a little bit, buddy. Let's, I'm kidding, I know that's bronzer. I know it's bronzer. Uh, I really don't have a plan for jokes at all, uh, so I'm, I don't know how much time we have left, uh, but I'd like to introduce you to uh, Chris McKenna, everybody. No, that's, that he's, I'm sorry, Chris, I can't. Uh, he wrote on the show we did together, uh, Parks and Rec, so many years ago. Oh, good, none of you fell for it, so great. Uh, how was the fish? Was the food any good here in the Marriott near the airport, guys? How many people have left? Did Table 47 finally take off? The shitty tables? How's it going way back there, guys? Don't worry. Your shows might get popular next year and you'll be right up here with four and five. It'll be great. Um, I don't, I don't, I, any questions for me, guys? Uh, I, I don't know. Yes, uh, let me know if you want. Uh, I'm gonna bring somebody up in a second if, you're not careful. So, table four, what show do you guys work for? Better Call Saul. Yeah, okay, now they're fucking Better Call Saul. Chicago Fire is right here, so that's great. Also one of my favorite. What, what's table three? God damn. Fabian's like, oh, all the other cast members are gone, but we're going to bring all the PAs. We're going to bring Crafty with us. We're going to bring everybody. Yeah, if the cast is not here, just it's open season. Just come on. Show up. Uh, how, well, we know table five is Stargirl. Thank you, Stargirl, for being here. <laughs> Jeff, how did it go? First time I've seen you without a baseball hat. But not Kevin Feige, still wearing a baseball hat somewhere. He left, he left an hour ago, right? <laughs> is he still here, Kevin Feige? <laughs> Fucking A, wow, thank you for staying. <laughs> it really shows your dedication. How's the uh, table under the jib? How's that going? A little nervous? <laughs> a little nervous, 23? One guy with a mask, that's monkeypox, right? That's not COVID. You're the one guy that got monkeypox, that's great. Great, all right. Are we, cl are we close? We are. You're still, oh, I'm good, I can leave? Were you gonna tell me? All right, I will be right back to, oh, guys, how about Phil Lamar, the guy that's announcing everything? Thank you, Phil. Very nice man, got killed. All right, uh, guys, I'll, I guess I'll be back in a second. Here we go. All right. Okay, uh, quick update. Uh, two strikes, eight hits, three unforced errors. That's the final box score for Sunday's Phillies-Padres playoff game. And also the most recent charges against Ezra Miller. So <laughs> that's all tonight. East Coast time. Uh, we'll keep you posted. Uh, this Ezra Miller update was brought to you by Warner Brothers The Flash in theaters everywhere June 23rd. I don't think I'll ever work for Warner Brothers again. I think you can already tell. They're going to they're gonna kill me. Uh, okay, great. All right, thank you. Uh, 
to present our next award to very talented actors who have been beating me out for roles for the past 30 years. Please welcome Jessica Green and Tom Mason from Falling Skies, my favorite, Noah Wiley, everybody. <laughs> Okay, gosh, there is a lot of sci-fi and horror and fantasy, isn't there? And we are gonna honor all of it. <laughs> it will all be honored tonight. I don't care, it's happening. All right. Our next presenter is an incredibly poised and talented actor and still in the early stages of a long, very successful career. Most impressive, she manages not to point and laugh at me when I emerge from my trailer wearing my Starman costume. It's very tight. So, uh, please welcome one of my favorite people from CW Stargirl, Breck Bassinger, everybody. She's the best. It's a very tight suit, that is correct. All right, we are halfway through. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone, you've made it. To present our next award, a very talented director who, in addition to this year's Prey, has also directed the pilot episode of something called The Boys, one of my favorites, and a three-time Saturn Award-winning movie, uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane. He has impeccable taste and a phenomenal eye for talent and has never cast me in anything. I'm sure that's just a coincidence. It's a very hurtful coincidence, but whatever. Please welcome the great Dan Trachtenberg. I know, uh, I know that uh, seemed a lot like the credits and that this whole thing was over, but no. Those were all the people that couldn't attend, so let's be thankful. Let's thank God. No joke. Oscar Isaacs, just making a tape. I, I didn't realize I didn't have to be here. I could have just put, made a tape. Uh, here we go. Okay, our next presenter. We've all aged, and we've had time to reflect. Okay. Uh, our next presenter is no stranger to genre pop culture. He played a teenager who created his dream woman in weird science. He glimpsed terrifying visions of the future in the dead zone. He went toe to toe against Michael Myers in Halloween Kills. And most fantastical and unbelievable of all, he played the top college football quarterback of all time in Johnny B. Good. Please welcome a great actor, a great guy, and he was on Community and the finest Rusty of all time, Anthony Michael Hall. <laughs> Come on, Joel, we're in the home stretch. Oh, we're, we're at another commercial break, and I'm not fucking kidding. Uh, here's the good news. We've reached daylight savings time, and we've bought ourselves an hour. Uh, I, really, I hate sci-fi and fantasy horror now. I hate it. I fucking hate it now. Uh, the nominees for next year's Saturn Awards have been announced. Congrats, Better Call Saul. Uh, anybody want to come up? And uh, I can't, okay, I'm not kidding. When I say that, I'm, I, I know that I have to preface every, I do that for my kids all the time. Uh, but uh, nobody, as you know, no one stays at award shows and you guys are. And, which shows you don't have anything better to do. Uh, we, but this really is, uh, it is, I know it sounds insincere, but it's the, this is the greatest award show I have ever been to. I'm punchy. I haven't, it's, this is, I can't believe how many, I still can't believe how many Better Call Saul tables there are. Raise your hand if you're at uh, work on Better Call Saul. That's, Damn. Anybody, uh, I know that we haven't done, we kind of did in, in memoriam, but we're gonna continue it. Uh, 
Let me know who's passed away during this award ceremony. Anybody? Anybody? And not, of nothing, you know, terrible. I'm sure it's just age, you know, it was there. It was your time to die at an airport Marriott. Well, come on, Joel, they can't leave early. It's not a Dodger game. Thanks a lot, Phil. You really, you really brought it down. Uh, <laughs> look, I'm an, I am a Mariner fan, and we lost. Thank you, too. And uh, we lost in a 18 inning extra uh, inning game by one run. It was one to zero. And that was shorter than this. <laughs> Which is incredible. Okay, and we're done? No, that's Liz, the stage director, just going like this, because she slit her own throat. And, uh, okay. And the show continues. <laughs> Here to present our final award of the evening. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That, these are the pre-awards. The real show starts right now. Uh, uh, here to present our final award of the evening is an actor you've all come to know very well. You've, uh, you've thrilled to see his roller coaster of a career. You scrolled in stunned amazement through his IMDb credits, and you've wished for at least the last five and a half hours that he would just shut the hell up. Ladies and gentlemen, to present the Saturn Award for Best Science Fiction Film, please welcome the co-star of one episode of Dr. Ken. It's Joel McHale. It's frickin' me, thank you. Thank you so much. Here we go. The nominees. I think we've all died, right? We've all died? I think we all died. This is... Okay, the nominees uh, for be uh, Best Science Fiction Film are Better Call Saul. <laughs> you guys are amazing. <laughs> you can break through awards. You can break through categories and get nominated. All right, here we go. The nominees for Best Science Fiction Film are Crimes of the Future. Dune, Free Guy, Godzilla vs. Kong, Jurassic World Domination, Nope, and the Saturn goes to, that's a movie, no, I'm kidding, here we go, and the Saturn goes to, let me just milk it for a while, guys, Nope, everybody, come on up, Nope. Accepting for note, co-star Brandon Perea and producer Ian Cooper. Thank you so much. Thank you guys, I can't believe we're closing this thing. Okay, guys, did everyone in the room receive their own Saturn Award? I'm sure it feels that way. If you currently don't have a Saturn Award, I think there's a sack of extra ones by the valet. So, guys, thank you for an amazing evening. Thanks for coming. Thanks for staying. You did not have to. You've all been towed. I was Joel McHale, unless you're offended, in which case I was Will Arnett. I'll see you at the after party across the street at Guy Fieri's place. Good night, everybody.